Hello, everyone. This is Denise Hansard, your life architect and intuitive. Today, I want to talk about disappointment. No matter what it is, we all get disappointed at times. I know I've been disappointed lately in myself and the commitments that maybe I haven't um, held up on my end, just to myself, but also about the disappointments that are going on in the world uh, around us. And yeah, I could start naming a few of them and it's just not necessary because we all know what they are, no matter what our view is of them. What I do wanna talk about is when we have those disappointments, how do we handle those? First and foremost, let's not become a victim to whatever is happening around us, in our life, through us, to us, however we view it. We all have the ability to take ourselves out of victimhood through a different choice. You have a voice. I have a voice. I get to use that voice in a manner that helps to empower me and hopefully empower others. And so for you, looking at something that you've wanted, and let's just say it like this, um, going after something that you know you are fully capable of doing, and even you have the expertise in it, and yet no one else sees that in you in the current situation. And it feels like time and time again, you get rejected, you get disappointed, um, and you don't know what to do with it. And you do have a choice. You can fall into allowing that disappointment to make you a victim to your circumstances and the situations going on around you, not in you. Or you can choose to view it differently empower yourself and say, what's the next step? What more can I do? What can I do differently this time to make it different, to have a different outcome? And it could be as easy as just empowering yourself for further growth, seeing things differently and understanding that your journey in life is just that, it's a journey. I think I heard the other day, it was something along the lines of no matter where you begin, you always have the same ending. And it doesn't matter the path you take. The path you're going to take is going to be the right one for you at this moment. And so for me, I look at it and go, okay, I'm not going to fall into victimhood on a disappointing time and commitment that I didn't live up to for myself. I'm going to readjust. I'm going to make a different choice. And I'm going to move forward that way. You have a voice. You have a choice. So no matter whatever is going on in your life, going on in this world, let's use our voice. Let's empower ourselves through compassion, respect, and our voice and our words to really make a difference, not only in the world outside of us, also the world inside of us. So thank you for watching. Thank you for coming back today. Thank you for being a subscriber. And if you haven't subscribed yet, it's not gonna hurt. Go ahead, subscribe, like, share. Thank you. Mm -hmm.